here she is, ladies and gentlemen, really as well-rounded a mixed martial artist as we have in the UFC at present. Not gonna wow you necessarily in any one area, but plus skills in every discipline of mixed martial arts and a handful for anyone in this division just about anywhere the fight goes. With her skill set, she is comfortable anywhere in that octagon, a scary proposition for the rest of her fellow contenders. This girl is a really well-rounded fighter, a full and complete mixed martial artist with an arsenal of techniques from Muay Thai, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, judo, wrestling, boxing. She can really do it all. So very unpredictable in that regard and very comfortable no matter where the fight goes. Well, she is a really accomplished submission specialist. And candidly, Joe, not a lot of women are used to facing opponents on this level. She's got to be thinking tonight, how quickly can I get this fight to the ground and set up my high-level submission game? A lot of different chokes in her arsenal. She attacks from a lot of different angles. Very strong lower body, particularly her hips. Very excited to see what she can do tonight if this fight hits the mat. This girl has some of the best Brazilian jiu-jitsu in the division. Her submissions are outstanding, and she has a full arsenal of them. That is what she's gonna wanna try to do in this fight, bring the fight down to the ground, and utilize those beautiful Brazilian jiu-jitsu skills. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of four wins, no losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Kelly. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of five wins, two losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Fighting out of the tall Brazil, Razor. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. And we are underway. Well, after a scintillating knockout in her UFC debut. Oh! All right, so here we go. First round is underway. She is a submission specialist, so look for her, Joe, to go for the early takedown. She's gonna wanna take this fight to the ground, really at all costs, to try to set up one of her submissions. The longer she hangs out on the feet, the more dangerous her opponent becomes. Nice shot. Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, how about the knockout there? Beautiful technique to land the fight ending shot. And again, we're a broken record when it comes to this, but sometimes when you catch a fighter cold, maybe before she's had a chance to get herself into the fight, that strike can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Nathan Kelly. Well, she's got all the tools, Joe, and she certainly put them to good use tonight as she gets the win and gets so with style points by way of the knockout. No judges needed for this one, and you can be sure her bankroll is going to be fatter on Monday morning. She'll probably get a bonus. At the very least, though, the celebration is on. You see there with her coaches and her teammates. Nothing better in all of pro sports than to win a mixed martial arts fight at the highest level. Congratulations.